I'm so glad to see you. It's been a long time since I've seen you in person. Well, some of you anyway. I miss seeing you in person at church. Um, we've started another school year. How are you doing? Are you having a good time? Are you glad to see your friends? Is it weird? Is the world weird these days? Well, I am just glad to talk to you today. I thought I'd come to you on your computers or your tablets or your TVs to say hello. Um, do you know what day is coming up very soon? That's right, Thanksgiving. Um, in the church, we have a special book that we read, right? We call it the Bible. You, probably, you might be reading it at home too. And in the Bible, there is lots and lots and lots of times when it says, Part of living God's way is being thankful. And that's one of the things we think about on Thanksgiving. And so today I thought that we could practice being thankful together. And I could maybe share with you some ideas of ways that you could be thankful with your families at home. What do you think of that? So first idea, I was going to do it myself. And I thought, wait, I'll do it with you. And then we'll start together. So the first thing I was thinking about is I think I'd like to start a gratitude jar. Do you know what that is? You take a jar of any kind. Do you have a jar in your house that would work? It can be big, it can be small. And I think it would be fun to decorate it. You could decorate it in whatever ways you'd like. And then every day you or your members of your family could, oh, where did my pen go? <laughs> Every day, members of your family could take little pieces of paper and you could write something down, something nice that happened to you that day or something good that you appreciated or something that you thought of today that was a really good thing. Like maybe um, you had fun playing with a friend of yours or you liked playing with the dog or maybe your sister emptied the dishwasher for you or what else? Um, Maybe you had a really nice conversation with somebody. Does that sound like something that would be a good thing in your day? And so you write that thing down and you fold it up and together you put it in your decorated jar. And then at the end of the month or anytime, I suppose you could do this once a week and then do it on New Year's Eve at the end of the year, but you could, but every day somebody puts something in the, in the jar. And then at the end of the month, you pick a special time with your family and you read them out together. And you think about all the great things that happened to your family over the last month. That'd be an awesome thing to do. Fun thing to try. Or if you'd like to, do you like to do crafts? I thought about doing a craft today. I have, so you need some construction paper that you can make into strips. And you need some green construction paper or like any kind of paper. This is kind of a cardstock, but can you see what I've just made? I've cut out leaves, cutting out leaves. And then I'm going to take my pen or you could use a marker or you could use whatever. And you could take this and write down something good, something that you want to be thankful for on your strip of paper. Let's see, what do I want to be thankful for today? I had a good sleep last night, so I'm going to write down, thanks for a good sleep. Thanks for a good sleep. Well, it might be backwards in the camera. Maybe not. <laughs> Anyway, so you need like a whole bunch of strips like this, maybe eight. Can you make eight things? Can you come up with eight things you're thankful for? And then what you can do is staple them together. So you put them all together. Oh, maybe put them out on your table. I, my um, angle isn't great here for the camera, so I couldn't show you on the table. So instead I just stapled them together myself. 
but you could set them out on the table, like a, make them like a wheel and staple them in the center and then bring them up and staple, staple, right? We'll put the thankful thing on the outside. You staple them one more one at the top and also at the bottom. And then you see I've got something that's becoming a pumpkin. And then you can use your leaves and maybe you can make some decorations and depending on what size they are they could become decorations for thanksgiving do you have turkey at thanksgiving what do you have do you have a special meal that you have with your family maybe you could put your thankful pumpkins on the table or around somewhere as good decorations i think that would be a good thing to do what do you think you want to do that i have one other idea of something that you could do with your family and that is something I'm gonna do with you right now. Are you ready? I'm gonna do the ABCs of being thankful. And so together we're gonna to do it and then it's something you can do when you're in the car or with your family and you're trying to figure out how to spend time. You can always do the ABCs of being thankful. So how do we do it? Well, we go through the alphabet and we think of something that we're thankful for that starts with that letter. That's pretty simple, right? Okay, you ready? Here we go. What does the alphabet start with? A. So, what could we be thankful for that starts with A? I think apricots. <laughs> Do you like apricots? I don't have apricots very, very often, but dried apricots are really tasty. They're almost like candy. We used to call them in in my family, we used to call it candy cot because it was so sweet. Anyway, well, maybe avocados. Ooh, do you like avocados? All right, A, you're getting the idea. B, can you think of something that starts with B that you'd be thankful for? I'm thankful for my bathing suit. That starts with B because a bathing suit allows me to go swimming. <laughs> That's fun. C, I am thankful for my car because my car gets me around and lets me get places. D, what could I be thankful for for D? What are you thankful for for D? I think doodling. Doodle, 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 doodle. I always like to doodle when I'm on the phone. I draw things and when I'm listening, it helps me listen better if I'm doodling a bit. Now, what's next? A, B, C, D, E, E. Eggs. I am very thankful for eggs. Are you? Do you like eggs? Eggs do so many things. I love eggs. F. Fall. Fall. Fall weather. Fall colors. Isn't it beautiful outside right now? It's amazing. F. I'm thankful for fall. G. What starts with G? My garage. I like the fact that I have a place for my car to go, especially in the winter when it's snowing. G, garage. H, my hairbrush. It's nice to have a good hairbrush. No, that's not your H, what's your H? I, you know what I'm thankful for when it starts with I? I'm thankful for my iPhone because that's how I'm talking to you right now. I'm recording on my iPhone. J, J, my name starts with J. Oh, you know what else starts with J? Jewelry. I like a nice necklace. Jewelry. K, what am I thankful for that starts with K? <gasps> Kittens. Kittens are so cute. I like kittens. Do you like playing with kittens? Does anybody have kittens right now? Ooh, they're probably growing up if you have kittens. L. Do you know the Sesame Street song about L? La 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 linoleum. I am thankful for light bulbs because they make things brighter. And especially in my bathroom, I really, really, really like my light fixture in my bathroom. I know that's strange, but I'm thankful for it. 
M. Oh, music. I love music. How about you? What's your M? N. Nuts. <laughs> I like nuts. I like to eat nuts. Oh. Oh. Oak trees. I like oak trees. They're tall and they're strong. We have acorns for the squirrels. I'm thankful for oak trees. P. What starts with P? Do you have an idea? Cozy pajamas. Do you like pajamas? I'm thankful for pajamas. Oh, speaking of cozy, quilts. Do you have a quilt? Do you know what a quilt is? It's a special kind of blanket. My gram used to make quilts. My mom makes quilts. And uh, I really like having a quilt on my bed. R. Now, we've talked about fall weather. I really like how beautiful it is, but my favorite weather of all is the rain. I like the rain. I'm so thankful for rain. And this summer, there was a while we didn't have enough rain, so I'm very thankful for rain. S. You know what else I like? I like to look up at the stars. I love looking up at the stars at night. I'm thankful for stars. T. What are you thankful for that starts with T? Well, we talked about it being a school year. I'm thankful for teachers. Do you have any good teachers? Do you like your teacher? I'm so thankful for your teachers. Uh, they work really hard to make your school year good. You. Do you have a good one for you? All I can think of is underwear. <laughs> now, I'm thankful for underwear. I'm glad we have underwear. Do you have a better one for you? I'll bet you do. What's your one for V? What's your one for V? Vinegar. Now, why would I be thankful for vinegar? Vinegar is so great for a lot of things. It's sour to taste, but you can make interesting things. And, but really, you can also use it like to clean things. You can clean a coffee maker with vinegar. Did you know that? Vinegar is a kind of cool thing. So I'm thankful for vinegar. I'm very thankful for water. That starts with W. W, oh, water. We couldn't live without water. Water is amazing. Thank you, God, for water. X. Now this is a tricky one. But I have a tricky idea. Do you know, have you ever heard people talk about Christmas as Xmas? Do you know why they do that? Because X is um, a letter that was used like a long time ago when Jesus was alive um, in the Greek alphabet. Um, which Jesus didn't speak, but never mind. <laughs> the, this is a letter that was the first letter of the word Christ. And so X is often a word we, or a letter that we use to describe Jesus. Christmas, Xmas, that's about Jesus. So I'm gonna say that my X word today, do you think this is cheating? I don't think it's cheating. My X word is I'm thankful for Jesus. Now, why? Well, how about the color yellow? That's bright and sunny. Oh yeah, sunny. <laughs> and yellow is, yellow is a cheerful color, isn't it? I'm thankful for yellow. Can you imagine the world without yellow? Oh, yellow sunflower, aren't those nice? Zed. Now what could you be thankful for that starts with Zed? I know what I'm thankful for that starts with Zed. Zoom. Do you know what Zoom is? Zoom's the way we've been doing online church for the last forever. It's a computer thing. It's like Microsoft Teams or all those other things that people are using these days and schools are using. Zoom. It's the way we've been able to have church, even when we haven't been able to have together or have been together. So I am super thankful for Zoom. And look, we got to the end of the alphabet. Isn't that amazing? So many things that we can be thankful for. And I'll bet you had 
all kinds of other things that started with those letters that you are thankful for, right? Well, that was fun. I'm thankful for that too. Let's do this again sometime. Till then, happy Thanksgiving.